Hi, I'm Chris and I'm a tutor at QUT. Today we're going to look at the correct way to back up your camera cards at the end of a shoot day. As I'm sure you all know, shooting with digital cameras has many advantages. It's faster and cheaper than shooting on film or tape. But a major drawback with digital is that it's now really easy to accidentally erase all of your precious rushes in seconds. Therefore, you should always back up every memory card after every day of shooting, or when it's full. This backup is called a camera archive. All departments in the production process need to be extremely vigilant when it comes to data management and backing up. Okay, so with that in mind, let's take a look at the backup process at the end of a typical shoot day. Today we shot some files on the NX5. Step one, make sure the camera is switched off and eject the memory card. Step two, lock the memory card. Most memory cards have a physical switch that you can slide to lock the card. When the card is locked, you cannot add or delete files from the card. Step three, connect your card to your computer using a card reader. Some computers will have a card reader built in, but if yours doesn't, you can borrow an external card reader from the ELC. Step four, make a new folder on your computer and call it Camera Archive followed by any other helpful information. I'm calling my folder Camera Archive D1C1 for Day 1, Card 1. Step 5. Copy everything from the camera card into the Camera Archive folder. When I say everything, I mean everything. The number one mistake that students make when backing up camera cards is that they only copy some of the folders or some of the files. Avid will only recognise your rushes if the folder structure of the camera archive is identical to the original memory card. You must copy everything. Clone the card. Step six, eject the camera card and unlock the card. Step seven, label your card to let your camera operator know that it has been backed up. The camera operator can now format or erase the card in the camera and start shooting again tomorrow on an empty card. One last thing, there's a saying in the IT world that data does not exist unless it's in three places. So now that you've got your camera archive backed up, why not copy it to another computer and even another computer? If possible, your DOP, editor and producer should all keep copies of the camera archives just to be safe.